It's, I think it's so amazing how much there is to celebrate tonight and how many stories um, there are about Asian Americans and by Asian Americans. And I think and it's, just, it's really incredible. Every year it feels like there's, there's more to celebrate. I think that 2022, I will look back on it as the year um, The Summer I Turned Pretty came out. And I think that was pretty unforgettable for me because yeah. it was um, such a joyous experience. And I, I love the show, I love the cast, and it was really fun to be able to finally like share it with the world. I mean, they're like the best, my readers and also um, viewers, I think they're just like the best people because they're really kind. I think that, yeah, I guess it surprised me in a good way um, how, I don't want to give a spoiler, <laughs> but I, I think people were very, um, caught off guard by like emotions that they may have felt by the show and I think as a storyteller that's the most exciting part for me is to connect with the audience and make people feel something. No. <laughs> but it's a book too. Yeah. So people there's like but the, you know there's always going to be changes here and there. Yeah. So I guess you'll just have to wait and see. I know I've been really busy doing um, Summer I Turned Pretty but also um, I have another show coming out next year um, called Exo Kitty, which is the spinoff of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Nice. Yeah, so I'll have two shows um, next year, so I don't, I haven't had any time no. to write a book. I don't know about a secret to success, but I think um, what I spend the most time thinking about is the fans and um, wanting to give them something really special. And like, I love um, surprising them and hopefully delighting them. That's, that's what makes it fun for me, truly. Just everything having to do with our show, The Summer Turn Pretty, coming out this year and the premiere and getting to do it with such wonderful wonderful people like like Sean here. Um, it's been really incredible. Oh, for the fans, I think everybody's going to be excited. I think that season two provides a lot of stuff for books, uh, for the book fans and for a lot of the new fans who have just started watching the show. I think there's a great mix of both and I think Jenny really, really knows how to balance that well. Yeah, I mean, I don't, she's just a, an incredible writer and storyteller and she, you know, is a great collaborator too because she's, she always checks in with us and asks our opinion on things too, which I appreciate and she just has such a creative mind, so it's very cool to work with her. Um, I do stuff for free now um, and I can afford to live. Where I live, and we so. And get to be here, which is so unbelievable. Oh my cool. god! Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> um, I mean, just spending time with family and you know, enjoying a little a little time off and yeah. Uh, eating latkes with my family and celebrating Hanukkah and spinning dreidels. Wonderful. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be. Another adjective you can use. Uh, would you like to? Unforgettable. <laughs> Yeah. Sean's got it. Sean's got it. <laughs>